Justin Trudeau and the Liberal government's total disregard and outright disrespect for our military is having damaging impacts. As the Prime Minister continues to amass billion dollar deficits with his out of control spending, he has cut the budget of the Canadian Armed Forces by over $12 billion in just two years. In the first half of their mandate, the Trudeau Liberals have failed to complete a single major military procurement. Rather than providing our troops with the best equipment available, the Liberals are doing defence on the cheap. They've made a circus out of replacing our fighter jets and now plan to stick our Air Force with Australia's worn out old F-18 jets. Our Navy is in desperate need of supply ships, submarines and surface combatants, just to name a few. The only thing more damaging to the Canadian Armed Forces than the Liberals' procurement strategy has been their terrible treatment of the brave men and women in uniform. After cutting the defence budget, Justin Trudeau tried to remove the tax relief and danger pay for soldiers fighting ISIS. With our opposition, combined with cries of foul from inside and outside the forces, the Liberals were forced to reverse that asinine policy. But Prime Minister Trudeau still needed his pound of flesh from the valiant men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces. Last fall, the Liberals introduced a policy to cut off special allowances for troops who are injured more than 180 days. This is out of line with how our allies treat their own injured and it is already negatively impacting the financial, physical and mental well-being of our troops. This is a cold-hearted policy. A Conservative government will undo that damage done by Justin Trudeau and put the needs of those who serve Canada with valour first.